One of the fundamental aspects of brand building is having a great visual language. And a visual language, of course, for a brand is made up of different kinds of uh, elements. You have, of course, the brand identity, which is the primary brand mark, the secondary brand mark, the official brand pattern. Um, you might have a custom icon set that you're using. It's also about how your photos look online, um, the kind of color palettes, the typography. So there's a lot of elements in terms of the visual language. But the visual language also extends beyond just the brand identity, especially in your marketing, especially online, social media marketing and things like that, or even your YouTube channel, your videos. And they need to have a consistent kind of look and feel. The production value has to be quite high in the sense that you need to be using you know, professional or at least, you know, decent looking kind of photos, uh, typography, that is font selection, um, and a whole bunch of other things that typically you would have to go to a designer. Now, please don't get me wrong on this video. We are a branding agency, so we are designers by nature and our, our agency is, is packed with award-winning and talented designers. So I'm not saying that you should not go to designers to, to get your kind of brand collaterals and, and you know elements designed, not at all. In fact, for robust campaigns, for um, marketing that has a strategy behind it, always go for a professional designer to sort of translate your vision into the visuals. But having said that, for the more casual kind of marketing, the day-to-day -day social media posts or um, simple little campaigns that you're, you're running quickly, maybe like a proof of concept, you need a set of tools that don't cost you an arm and a leg uh, and usually free so that you can quickly put together, you know, like on a daily basis, the posts, um, Instagram images or things like that. So for doing that, I have a set of tools um, online resources that I wanted to recommend so that you can try them out and see if you can actually use them for your casual kind of branding, casual kind of marketing, casual kind of posting on a daily basis. So we start our discussion with some free design tools. The first one is VizMe. Now this is a free design resource for non-designers and it's an easy one, easy one to use. It's got a lot of, lot of um, tools and uh, provides you with literally everything you want to do in terms of graphics. So you can create some visual uh, content that, that looks stunning. Uh, for example, I think it's got about 6,000 kind of vector icons and, uh, you know, templates and so on and so forth. So this, I think it's, it's, it's also got a, a tool that is a drag and drop tool and I think it's semi-free and you can actually check it out first. And if you feel that the investment is worth it, you could probably then um, maybe sign up for one of their lower end packages. But yeah, this is a really good one. The next one is an awesome tool, Canva. Canva is, I mean, with this, it's got this, it's, it's a great resource for creating virtually anything i mean um you can you can make blogging ebooks documents um events inspiration marketing materials social media headers social media posts for example you can make social media graphics and it's quite it's quite um easy you select uh images you then type in your um your 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 text and then there's a whole bunch of um, um like templates uh, that you can use like this one. Look at this, Facebook for posts. And it's very easy. You just click on one, you select um, the, the image and put some text in it, and that's it. Apps, uh, Twitter banners, for example, Twitter posts, Instagram posts. Oh, this is a big one, Instagram posts, Pinterest graphics, and so on and so forth. And this is, I think, uh, a fantastic kind of resource for non-designers looking to create casual, everyday 
graphics for social media and other such marketing uses. The next great resource is infogram. Now, infographics are, you know, quite prevalent and they are a very powerful kind of marketing um, tool, um, especially to enable sharing and for, for making things go viral so that people can then link back to your website and so on. So this is a great resource to create um, infographic. It's got pre-made templates that you can use and you can incorporate social media into that. Um, so yeah, an overall really, really good resource. Now, I think it's not entirely free. I think you can get started and then of course you can, it comes with a watermark or something and you can um, sort of upgrade, uh, I believe. Um, it's, yeah, I mean, I've used it, but, but I mean, I never checked the licenses. Uh, our, a lot of uh, team members in our company use it. Yeah, it's a pretty, pretty decent tool. I love this next um, resource, which is Subtle Patterns. And this is about, if you want to improve your, uh, you know, kind of website's interface by adding kind of texture to the background and so on. Um, this is really good. It's got, it's got hundreds and hundreds of uh, usual and unusual patterns. Um, for example, if, you're, if you have, uh, I don't know, kind of a Christmas campaign coming up and you wanted to change uh, the look of your homepage, uh, you can go and find Christmas patterns and then you can put that on, on, on your page. Really, really good one. Uh, thoroughly recommend because texture and background, it's, it, it really creates that kind of visual uh, interest to anything that you're creating. Not just websites, you can get these backgrounds onto your social media campaign images and you know a whole bunch more. The next resource for helping you create content is ChartGo, uh, ChartGo.com, and you can find you can you can it's got tools that you can create charts, bar charts, you know, uh, line charts, pie charts, and these can then be used within your content. And this could be in your eBooks, in your white papers, uh, in your blog posts to create value, to create interest. Um, and also to make them look good. Uh, this is a really good resource in my opinion. So those were some of the kind of tools um, for creating content. So these are, um, this is stuff that you can use to create social media uh, images or infographics, charts, and so on and so forth. The next section is for, uh, is, is about resources for um, royalty-free photos, professional photos. Now, when you're creating content, website content, when you're writing articles, when you're creating images for social media or any kind of marketing, the biggest challenge that a lot of people face is finding good photos, right? Photos that are professional, that are, you know, that you don't want to spend a lot of money on. Um, so the next section is a bunch of free resources for photos, for stock photos, that's going to really, really change the way your, your branding looks, your, your website, your social media channels, and you know, all your campaigns. These are fantastic resources. The first one is uh, Pick Jumbo. Now, all the items on this website are completely free, attribution is not required, and it's got, you know, awesome categories. Uh, it's got abstract images. It's, um, yeah, this is beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. Look at the, the level of uh, um, the categorization and also the quality of photos. Um, just check these out. These are, these are just beautiful. So it's simple. You just download them. See, download for free, it says here. And you can also download collections. And if you want to save some time, I think they have a premium uh, join premium here and you can download uh, a whole collections. Um, for example, if you want to um, collect, uh, uh, download all um, Iceland photos, then yeah, you just download the whole bunch. Beautiful, beautiful resource. We used to use this quite a lot uh, ages ago on our website. Uh, I think we still do, um, but there are other resources also that we are using now and uh, we're gonna look at them in the next um, coming few resources. This next one, Kaboom Picks, 
is it's got fantastic photos, very minimalistic, very stylish, very elegant. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for photos that are elegant and um, uh, quite luxurious looking, then yeah, Kaboom Pix is, it's got a great interface and it's got a great collection of photos. The next one is new old stock. Now this is a very interesting one. This is great for photos um, that are old, right? So if you're looking for photos from the past, or the 1920s, 1930s, 1940s, 50s, yeah, these, th this is a great collection. Um, this is not just for, um, you know, when you need photos for a particular article uh, talking about the 1930s, uh, I don't know, wool, uh, wool shearing competition or whatever. It's also great for just jazzing up, right? Jazzing up your, your, your marketing, you know? It doesn't need to be related as long as you're creating a kind of a harmony and like this one here, gold mining. Uh, and this could be paired with any kind of marketing that you're saying. Maybe you're saying, uh, I don't know, hard work pays off. And this one is a representation of hard work, right? Why not? So yeah, this is, this is beautiful, beautiful. I love this, I love this, this resource. Gratisography, I love this one. This is by R. McGuire. And yeah, if you want quirky, kind of funky, um, you know, on the edge kind of photos, interesting, professional, looking beautiful, and all that, yeah, this is the place. Look at that. It's got a lot of categories, and some of those whimsical kind of category photos are just um, too good. Um, let's see if we can can actually go to this whimsical I don't know it doesn't seem to be working but yeah this is this is yeah this is a great resource for kind of funny kind of images look at this one for example just out there and the ultimate one unsplash these are gifted by the world's most generous community of photographers I mean this is a beautiful resource of free photos um, it's got HD kind of photos it's got categories unlimited categories it's got uh, millions of photos and yeah this is our go-to resource right now uh, this is what we use for all our marketing social media our website uh, even our videos uh, videos you know most of the the thumbnails that you see are from this resource an unsplash beautiful fantastic resource just just the best out there there are hundreds of other kind of photographic resources right now. I mean, in the past, three, four, five years ago, when we were doing a lot of content um, strategies, um, not many resources. Yeah, there, was, uh, there were a couple, but uh, it was always a struggle. And in fact, we used to spend a lot of money um, buying our stock photos for our blog posts and you know all that. But these days, you have no excuse. I mean, you get fantastic kind of photos online for free just download them um, don't search on Google a lot of people search on Google for photos and then download them and maybe use them on on uh, their blog posts or social media no because on Google you don't know what the copyrights are and these could be by paid stock photo websites like uh, Getty images or iStock photo and if you use them on a blog post you could be getting a a fat fine in the mail, right? Those guys are relentless and rightly so. I mean, you know, you, when you have a whole kind of, you know, free resources for photos, high quality HD photos, why go for, why go on Google and then search and then download? Don't do it, don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay, so those are photos. The next batch of resources that I'm going to show you are typography. Uh, these are fonts. These are fonts, free fonts, maybe even paid fonts that you can use for your website, your even social media channels when you're creating um, you know, images, when you're creating marketing slogans and things like that. Now, typography is really important. It's really critical. And this day and age, there's no excuse to use poor typography. Um, as you will see, you got resources that are just too good, right? The best free resource is Google Fonts. 
As you can see, it's got hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beautiful fonts. I mean, there is no end to the kind of fonts that you could, you could get. Just go to fonts.google.com and you will see, yeah, this is, yeah, this is, this is a gold mine of resources. Very easy. You just, you know, you can see a specimen. Let's, let's check this. Let, let's find a good one. Yeah, this is a good one. Um, so you can type in uh, your kind of text, I don't know, somewhere you type it in and then you can see the specimen. You can see um, the usage where it's mostly used um, and then you can decide based on that. And you can also import these fonts into your, your website with a plugin if you're using a WordPress uh, website. Yeah, it's look at this. Look at this beautiful font. I love this. Oh, yeah, handwriting font. So these are, this is Google Fonts and this is just, just too good. Too good to be true. Yeah, there. <laughs> It just changes and you can then check how your sentence looks in these fonts. Just too good. Okay, another awesome, awesome uh, resource is Font Squirrel. Again, a whole ton of fonts and um, it's got free stuff. It's also got, um, it's also got um, some paid ones, uh, but yeah, so use fonts use Google fonts, use, and so you can search for other kind of free fonts out there. Uh, so again, there's no excuse for not using the right kind of fonts. The next one is color palettes. You can generate superb color palettes and you can use these for not only your branding, but also, uh, I'm gonna turn off this, yeah. For, but also for your Social media, when you're creating stuff, these are palettes that, 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 that complement each other, right? So choose and, and you can go and you can generate, you can actually explore um, awesome font, uh, awesome color palettes by others. And these are, these have been created mostly by designers, but you can also create a, a, a palette and then save it and that, so that others can use it. And yeah, then you can explore. I mean, yeah, just play with it. This is coolers.co c o o l o r s.co another colors a color palette uh, tool is palaton i love this it's very easy you just click on here and it shows you uh, the various different kind of um, 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 the palette uh, the different colors within that palette yeah love it and you just click on each one of these you can get all the details you can just copy this hex code and use it in your, you know, in your graphics. Beautiful, beautiful one. Yeah, so I mean, there are, there, there's, there's a lot of free color palette um, kind of uh, resources these days. Uh, and um, just stick to one or two, you don't really need to test them all. Um, but so, so I've touched upon various resources for your uh, design, kind of casual design needs, right? So first I looked at tools to create the actual graphic and these are graphics and these are things like your, your um, uh, mm, this could be like banners, this could be web graphics, this could be stuff that you post online. Um, then I looked at photos. These are royalty-free HD high quality photos that you need to use that you want to use in your uh, various kind of marketing activities. Then we looked at typography. Then we looked at um, color palettes. So these are the components of your kind of graphic, kind of visual language that be, you be using online to market your brand. And so I'm gonna also leave a link to um, a, an article that I wrote quite a while ago. It's got 60 design resources and each one kind of categorized and described. So check that out. That's on our um, agency website. Uh, check that article out. I hope you like this. Yeah, I know this is, I tried to limit it. I mean, uh, a video on free resources these days <laughs> can go on for three, four, five, six, seven hours, right? Um, so I tried to just 
find a few that would immediately get you going without overwhelming you, right? So this is for sort of ramping up and boosting your, um, your brand visual language, right? I hope you like it. If you have any questions, just leave them below. Um, if not, till my next video, take care.